okay assalamu alaikum this is uh, basically a summary of what we discussed in the class online class we had earlier this week and uh, what we are going to see today in this presentation is that how we are going to solve a series circuit what are the steps which you have to take to solve your series circuit problems and how to find out the total resistance, total current and individual voltage of the series circuit. Okay, okay we have uh, this uh, given circuit which has three resistors. As you can see there is only one current path to flow. So it's a series circuit by definition. We have three characteristics resistance, current and voltage and we are also going to apply and use Ohm's law which is V is equals to IR to find out the results we need. So first the characteristics RT is equals to R1 plus R2 plus R3 RT is equals to I1, I2, I3 which means that current remains same in the series circuit and finally the total voltage is equals to the sum of individual voltages. So what we need to do in this is to find out RT first so by using the first formula RT is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 we are going to calculate RT and it comes out to be 17, 27, 29, 30, 40, 40 ohms okay so 40 ohms is RT and before that I would also like to tell you that uh, total voltage we have used as 60 volts and uh, given data we have is R1 is 17 ohms, R2 is 12 ohms and R3 is 11 ohm. Okay, so we move further and uh, we can see that RT is equals to 17 plus 12 plus 11. That makes 40 ohms okay so we'll write this in this RT the result data we have 40 ohms now we would like to calculate the individual voltages as well as individual currents using the ohms law and we know that the total voltage is equal to sum of individual voltages but for before that we have to calculate IT so IT can be calculated by using the Ohm's law and it comes out to be 1.5 amperes so we put 1.5 amperes here and uh, now we need to find out the individual currents but as we know that total current is equals is same in so current remains same in series circuit so I1 is equals to I2 is equals to I3 is equals to IT so all I1 I2 and I3 are uh, 1.5 amperes finally we need to calculate the voltages and for that we have this formula Vt is equals to V1 plus V2 plus V3 and by using that we can calculate the individual voltages but just by applying V is equals to IR so multiplying R1 with I1, R2 with I2 and IR3 with I3 and what we found out I'm showing the V1 it's 17 ohms and 1.5 amperes is 25.5 volts same is the case for V2 1.5 amperes and it's 12 ohms so we have uh, uh, let's calculate it and we have this 18 volts and finally V3 which is 1.5 amperes again and the and the R3 is 11 ohms so it gives you 
14.5 volts if you add up all these together you should be getting 40 uh, sorry 60 volts so 25.5 volts then we have 18 volts and 14.3 volts 14.5 volts okay and as you add up you can see it's 80 volts so this is the method which we have to use to solve series circuits and find out individual values okay thank you